So my custom car rear suspension has finally turned up from the States. Yeah, after working on Dan's Mark 1 and looking at all his bits, I figured I needed to treat myself to some uh, aluminium rose jointed rear arms and a panard rod. I'll put a link to the custom car stuff in the description. That's the custom car kit all assembled on the rear, ready to go. Always love looking at the quality of these kits and uh, it's just crazy how light they are compared to the standard suspension. Okay, so just putting back together all of the rear suspension with the new custom car bits. I usually cable tie my springs in just so that they kind of seat roughly where they need to be. Uh, don't have to do this, but I've always done it. Just say so it's reaching under and trying to locate the springs because when they're this short, they kind of flop about. And when you jack up the car and drop it back down, it doesn't always locate properly. I even cable tie the top rubbers in as well. I've got Mark II Fiesta bump stops, which I've chopped the top off. Although the Mark I uh, bump stops are a hell of a lot smaller, they're only about sort of half the size of the Mark II one, but I could never find any. So I'll make do with my cut down ones for now. So that's all the hubs rebuilt, painted, new bearings, new studs, uh, ready to be bolted onto the axle. I'm not going to bother shimming anything yet, I just want to see where, um, where it all sits uh, as it is, just straight onto the flanges and make sure we've got it kind of straight and square. Just using high tensile steel bolts. Annoyingly they're allen key headed ones so it's a bit difficult to get into them to tighten them right up, but I have to cut down an allen key to get in there. Just curious to see how far out the wheels are going to stick because I didn't really measure stuff up too accurately from the old axle. I hope I don't end up with them either hanging out way too far or tucked in. We shall see. The studs I got from uh, good old Steve Law at Speed Shack, which is like the only sort of English version of a speed shop in this area really. He, he's got all sorts of weird and wonderful things down there and he's always really helpful especially with bolts and studs and nuts and stuff for whatever you need really. Give him a shout, he can hook you up. It's like an Aladdin's cave of old race car parts and Ford parts and stuff. Time for the new arm. Just pop the little spaces in. So that's all the rear shocks, panard rod, link bars, new hubs, all back on. Just need to finish off rebuilding the calipers and I'll bang them on, but for now I'm just gonna put the discs on, put the wheels on, and get it back on the floor and just see where everything sits in relation to the arches. That's how it sits. Need to pull it over slightly towards the driver's side. Pretty happy with that though. Got a little bit of poke. Okay, so back on the uh, boom tube, I'm basically, I've got a three inch, uh, this little 45 degree angle here and uh, I've made up some stainless steel infill pieces which basically bridge the round to the flat uh, and I'm going to have it at a slight kicked angle and that's roughly where the edge of the sill is so I'll end up slash cutting that when it comes out the side underneath the driver's door. I've had to sort of hammer this over a bit and now I need to fill in these side pieces 
looking to use a bit of masking tape, tape over it, draw around it, and then I'll transpose that tape shape onto a piece of stainless steel and hammer it over, roll it a bit, and then hopefully it will kind of trim it and fill that big hole there, and I'll get that spot welded up tonight. So that's the masking tape over the hole. Now I've just got to draw around the outside of it, and that'll give me my template. So that's drawn around the hole, and now I can peel that off. I'm going to stick that around the tube that I made this piece from, and uh, that'll allow, well, it's already got the curve to it, so then I can just open it up a bit and hammer it out a bit and get the flare so that it meets this round tube up here. So using the templates, I've then stuck it around the tube, uh, angle ground it a little bit on the uh, waist side, then hammered it out a bit to get it to shape, and then this is where I'm at with one side. So this is sort of the fitment, just sort of trimming it and pulling it around a bit to try and get it a nice snug fit. The plan is to uh, back purge it all and then TIG weld it all up with uh, Zach. Okay, so that's the sides filled in. Uh, come together right, there's a couple of weird little holes that I'm going to have to just blub it in. Other than that, pretty happy with that. It's a good sort of round to uh, flat transition. So uh, yeah, it should make some interesting noises. Thinking of once it's all welded up, we're gonna um, sand it and mop polish it up to make it a bit, uh, make it shine like a diamond in a goat's ass. So these are the old Fiesta windows and they're three mil, I think, polycarbonate. And I cut them out years ago with a jigsaw. The guys uh, at my old place of work give me a hand and they're pretty minging now, scratched, and I had holes in them from when I mounted the, the louver on the back window. So now's the time to uh, make some new ones, and I was just gonna jigsaw them out again, but I figured I could digitize them so that then I can CNC router cut them out. And in order to do that, you need to set up a uh, template with set vertical lines. So you, I've already pre-done this and drawn it all out, um, and I've done it 50 millimeter gaps for each vertical line and then you set up on top of that you place the uh, shape that you want to draw around and you hand draw around it and then you can using the vertical lines measure from each uh, bottom point up to the start of the shape so here I've got like 33, 30, 26 and that gives me this point, that point, that point and then on the computer screen, I can mark that, mark that, mark that, put the radiuses on it, uh, same with the top, and then I will draw a rough shape out on the uh, computer, and I can get that drawn, check it with the original piece, and then if I need to make alterations to it, I can tweak it here and there, and then once I'm happy with the drawn shape, then I can send it down to get it uh, router cut. Six. Starting to think that uh Jigsawing would have been a lot faster. But once I've done this, it does mean that if I need to replace a window, I can just get another one cut out quickly and the, uh, the cut will be a lot nicer than a jigsawed edge. And I can also preset in the vents because I've already set up the shape with the holes in so I can place those where I want them and they'll be cut out at the same time. Method of my madness. Luckily I put a bit of uh, masking tape on the window when it was on the car and that indicates the horizontal line. So then I know when I put the vent in this window where it needs to be so that when the window's in the car, the vent's not on the piss. And on the rear window, because it's uh, symmetrical, I'm literally just going to go up to the centre line uh, and then draw out half of it and then I'll mirror it over and hopefully that'll give me the right shape. So that's pretty much all of the measurements for each point uh, and now I just need to sit down and spend some time drawing it up on the computer. So basically just got to pick up on all the little crosshairs. So once you've done that, just uh, tidy up the curves, put some radiuses on it. And I've also put in the side duct on the rear quarter window and then the circle pop vent in the front quarter window.
So that's the windows cut. Um, just going to clean up the the rubbers. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get some kind of something to put back on them to put some of the oils back in the rubbers because they've dried out a little bit and they just need a good clean up. Um, but I'm pretty pleased with how the, the windows have turned out. All I've got to do next is set up the rear vents that go in the rear quarter windows. So that'll go sort of like this. What's this in the rubber? Also got a uh, door cards cut with the old uh, FBE logo router cut in it. And they match the door handles. Get them all fitted up. Get the windows in. And uh, yeah, on to mounting the 6 speed gearbox next. And the seats. Got to mount the new seats. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. I do really appreciate it. Make sure you check out our merchandise that's in a link over here and also any of my other videos that might interest you. I will put a link to any of the companies that have helped me out in the description below. Hit like and subscribe and also if you're up for it leave a comment let me know any feedback on what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Until next time I'll catch you guys later.